Hello YouTube, and thanks for tuning in to Spangle Vision. And we're back with another episode of Epic Structures here. And I've been getting some requests to do a little bit of a tour of my medieval builds that we built a long time ago on survival. So I'm gonna get a start here. I've already done the Tree of Wisdom. I guess I'm gonna do a few medieval videos and we'll just start a playlist for those of you interested in the medieval builds. Um, but today I'm just gonna highlight uh, this was my first true epic structure I would say um, it's my uh, medieval manor so we'll go check it out real quick let's see Lord Spanklechink Manor like I said I built this a long time ago on survival this was before I ever built a modern city or anything we had just started uh, we wanted a theme we decided to go medieval first so we're gonna check it out so I'm gonna get a fly over here real quick so you can see what we're what we're working with here I put it on the fantasy pack here on 360 for the texture pack because it looks pretty cool on medieval. It's really one of the only ones I can use it on. And like I said, this was all built on survival, so those of you that are playing survival all the time, I mean, just because you're playing survival doesn't mean you can't make something epic. As you can see here. pretty epic little uh, structure here and I love it it's this was you know this was my home base a long time ago this is where I uh, did all my stuff from I had all my storage here and uh, this is where I built the castle from actually which we're gonna tour the castle in the future too which is just a super epic structure that was also built on survival which you can kind of see it in the background there and we'll get to that that'll be the final uh, tour but here we go when you come in to my front gate here. I got a little uh, security gate as you can see so I would keep that closed so no one could come in. And over here I got just like a little serenity garden pool type thing you know a little secluded area maybe it's a hot tub heated spring or something a little bath like I said it's medieval so you can't really can't get too super elaborate. I have my own little garden going on over here just I needed food back on survival day so I'd keep a little stash there got a little uh, like barn house stable type deal here and we're gonna keep going we'll go in last I made like a uh, <clears throat> beer gardens type deal or like a ale house I guess just if I had uh, and you can tell how long ago it was you can see the chest where I was using that as like floor pattern but the update came, I never have been back to change it, so it's kind of indented there. It's kind of cool, just to prove how old this really is. Um, so, you know, you just come get your ale here. I guess it's an ale house. These big uh, tables or whatnot. And over here, if I remember correctly, I think it's, yep, right here. So at the, at the night, if you wanted to close the bar, you could just put up the uh, barrier here. I thought that was kind of cool. And of course you can get back there as well. Yeah, I got a little little piston action even on survival here. Oh. Did I get stuck? Yep. Let's try that again. There we go. Alright. I said this took me probably a couple couple weeks of steady building just to make this thing here on survival. Like I said back then everything was a lot slower, you had to build scaffolding. This is a, a little blacksmith forge I put up. It's got a little anvil, just fire, nothing fancy, just whatever it's still oh my gosh, it's still coal in there. I haven't been here in so long. This one's actually got some stone in it. That's hilarious. Alright. And over here is the servant quarters. You gotta have your servants, right? If you're a lord in the medieval times so I would have had a little bunkhouse for them here it's pretty crappy but they're servants so that's what they get <laughs> that's the back door we'll go on the front door here and so I really just I just we needed a theme that's how the whole medieval thing started we were just building random things at first and what is the new downtown area but I decided I'd go to the other side of the world and start a Start a medieval theme. It was really me and uh, Dude You Died. If it wasn't for him, I never would have started just building epic stuff. We just kind of branched off. Oh, wait. i go over here. And there's a, the first tree I ever made right here. 
That's not a natural tree, I just built that. I thought it looked pretty cool. It took a, a while to get that right, too. On survival. Um, huge fire pit out here, don't know for what. And I, just a little gazebo, and I had a little... A little secret spot, I used to keep TNT right here. It's empty now, but... Back in the day, that's where I would keep my TNT. Couldn't have uh, everybody knowing where my TNT was. Maybe blowing the world up. And we're gonna step inside here. <laughs> and this on the first floor is basically just like my little entertainment floor. I'd have I had a little uh, I don't know, it's kind of like my own pub, bar type deal going on down here. Got the kitchen, fully functioning kitchen over here. Some cakes. This is like the great meeting table I made originally. We'd come here like it had eight eight spots, so if I had eight people and we could come here and we would formulate what we were gonna build. That was the original plan. I, don't, I really don't think we ever did it, but it was just a cool idea. The table of the elders. <laughs> um, another cool little fireplace, you know. So nothing too elaborate down here because it was just survival. You know, we we're just doing what we could, but it turned out pretty pretty well, I think. Another cool little secret right here. Yeah, hey, look at that. A little secret hidey spot back here. There's nothing here. It's, I've been raided. Oh, huh, here we go. Got some cocoa beans. Compass. Bunch of wood. And dirt. That's always good. Huh. Ooh, what's that? What is that? Redstone repeater. Oh. It looks weird on the medieval pack. Okay. So we'll go up. And the second floor is like my art gallery, my library. So I did all of the paintings, or as many as I could, I thought. I just thought that was cool. That like a medieval little. Just like a little art art hall or whatever. And I guess it's changed with these paintings. It's not really art anymore. It's armor. But in here was my library. This was like a study. You can come read your books here. I was just trying to get that. That full medieval feel, you yeah. know. We're gonna go up, and this top floor is my bedroom floor. This is where I would reside. So, just the little details, you know, like putting the plants in, the little flower pots. You know, I just wanted to keep it, you know, as detailed as we can get it on survival. Like I said, I know it's tough to do on survival to get super detailed, but it can be done, you know. As you can see, it's just all about contrast and just getting what you can in. Got a nice little couch. Epic fireplace here. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the sack. <clears throat> nice little chandelier. Nothing fancy. It's kind of ugly, actually, but it was cool back in the day when there was no other options. <clears throat> and I got one more quick thing to show you guys, and we will be done with the tour. And we came down to my basement here, and this is where I, my where is where I kept a little storeroom down here. Looks like I've been raided still. Man, I used to have a lot more stuff. <laughs> These all used to be filled. Yep, I've been robbed. Alright, and this is the wine cellar. Which I thought this was a really cool idea. I don't know if you guys know anything about wine, but it's got, you know, you want to keep it where it's dimly lit. But I still wanted to keep enough light in here, so just a little pro tip. You can put half slabs there and it kind of blocks the light, but you get just enough. So each of these chutes, or these holes here in the steps, look like maybe a wine bottle could fit in there. But, of course, you can't really put a wine bottle down, so I just had to use my imagination, but... You know, it's just a little wine cellar. Nothing fancy. And I actually had another cool secret I did here. You can see. Well, I'm not going to go show too much. But as you can see, I'm going to save this for the future. That was where the Thieves Guild was. A little secret in my basement. And I might go back and tour that in a future video. But here we are. And I had a, uh, you know, on survival, you had to walk everywhere, so I wanted to, a quicker way to get out of my, uh, my manor here. So I set up a exit route. Where you 
you come out. Oh. I'm around the world. Looks like it froze here. It used to not be like that. So I can't get through. Oh. <laughs> Poor little sheepy on the ice. Well, alright. That's it. That's Smegglechink's Medieval Manor. I hope you guys enjoyed. Maybe I'll give you guys some some ideas that you guys are working hard on your survival worlds or trying to get a medieval theme world together. Maybe just some little uh, little ideas here for you. And I do thank you guys for watching. And I hope you stay tuned to Spangle Vision. And we will see you guys next time.